first I need to do is to to really um, plan my day better, yeah. to to just be more intentional, to to focus on um, begin with the end in mind, and making sure that um, my day is planned out that way, and also the end of the day as well. I think it's not just with me, but um, how I am also with my team, like being aware of where they are, um, and and. And if I don't know where they are, where they're coming from, even their emotions as well, then I don't know how to help them. So, Anna, welcome. Let's get started. So, what have you brought to our session today? Yeah, so, well, there's has, there has been a lot of work um, lately. Mm. There's so much work coming in and so many new projects that I'm taking on mm. as a leader in my organization. And the problem is um, my people or my team who I've been working with a long time haven't mm. been leveling up. Mm. And I want to take them to the level that, um, to, a, to a better level where they can be more of my thinking partners mm -hmm. rather than, because um, I find myself also doing a lot of their work and I don't want to be doing that because I want to be, I want to spend more time planning, being strategic about things, but, but I don't feel that um, they're ready. So a lot of the times that I have to um, be there to just help them. Mm -hmm. So part of it is them leveling up and part of that is you having more work on your plate and feeling that you're doing some of their work. Yeah. Yes. So when you, when you reflect back on what you just said, what other things are part of that? Because it seems to be a little of a composite issue here. Well, part of that also is because I want to be, you know, really successful in my role. And I feel like they're not, um, what's happening right now is it, it's like, I feel like I'm limited. And there's so many things that I want to do. I, I want to be as effective. And I feel like I'm not being effective enough. And as you know, I'm an achiever. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very, uh, it makes me frustrated mm -hmm. that I'm not able to, to do that mm -hmm. for myself. Yeah. So... You just said exactly, it makes you frustrated, it makes you feel limited. So how, how are these things connected? Mm. Frustrated and limited, you mean? Uh, no, frustrated and limited. And the aspects around more work, you're doing their work, um, they're not leveling up. Yeah, um, because when I, when I do a lot of um, their work, um, it, 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 um, it takes up time and you know that, um, as a, as a busy person in the organization, you know, that it's a fast moving organization, mm -hmm. that time is so important for me. And so I feel like if I spend time doing that with the people, um, in my team, then it takes away the time to do other things. So I'm always thinking about that, but then there's also that, that pull where I still need to be there and I need to help them because I'm also afraid that. Um, they might do, not do their job well, or they might make mistakes, or um, they're not capable of um, being ready to do certain things yet. Because I've seen patterns, I've seen them make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So I'm afraid of that. So now you're bringing in a number of new aspects as well. Time, how do you spend time, uh, how, do you are, how you are successful and not having mistakes made by them or by you. So what is getting away or figuring this out for yourself? Hmm, what is getting away? Good question. I don't know. There's really just so many things happening. And I, I can't seem to know um, what's the first step to take hmm. to be able to solve this problem. And so um, I feel like I'm just, because we're so busy, I feel like I'm just doing and doing and doing things all the time that um, because I'm just running like that, I'm not able to just really focus on maybe what I need to do first to solve this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... With that in mind, and at the end of our session today, what is the kind of the goal or, or uh, yeah, that you want to walk out with? Well, I think the goal is um, for, 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 me, for me to be able to find out um, how I can help my team level up and how can I, maybe two things. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one is to just um, free myself from that time to be able to be more strategic, to spend more time being more strategic and spend more time planning for things. So come again with the first one, find out what? Um, yeah, so I, I, I need to find out, uh, okay, two things. I'm gonna define them again. The first one is to be able to 
know how to level up my team. Like maybe what steps can I take to help them level up? And then the second one is um, find more time to, um, how can I find time to be more strategic? Like what can I do? It's also, it's also steps, maybe steps for both um, to just have time to do that, to do that role as a leader. Because I feel like I'm doing a lot of operations and I'm not doing that particular role, which is to be a decision maker and to be that um, strategic person in the team. Hmm. <clears throat> so finding out how to level up the team and finding the time to be more strategic in your thinking. Yeah. Exactly. So how will you know that you achieve that uh, at the end of our session today? If you say, hey, uh, yeah, I, I, have a, I have some ideas around this. How do you know that you've achieved that to walk out with? Well, I think um, what's going to help is that if there are clear steps, clear steps or clear action steps, actually, that I can use to be able to help me see that this is going to really help my team get from where they are now to the level that I want to be. So I think that's important. And it's important also maybe to just, um, I think it's also important to find out um, maybe there's something about what I'm doing or there's something about um, why I'm not being strategic enough and that I need to stop doing. And so how do I stop that? How do I find that out? And what are the steps I need to take? An action plan with clear steps for you and your team to level up. And yeah. some of the things in terms of kind of start, stop, continue on being more strategic. Mm, agree. Agree. So it's a lot about, I guess, both. To, to, for us to be a really high-performing team as well, it has to come from something maybe about me needs to change or something about the team also as well. And I'd really like to find that out. Mm -hmm. which, which of the two you want to kind of explore first? Mm. Um. I think um, maybe it's better if it uh, starts with me. Mm -hmm. I think if I can look into myself and see what's in the way that's getting me to be that kind of a leader that I don't want to be, um, then, then maybe that's going to start the process of helping them level up. Okay, so you, <laughs> you define two things to talk about. Which one is the one that's connected to you then? Um, well, for me, it's, it's really about how, um, uh, where are the things that I need to stop doing mm -hmm. um, to help me be, to be more strategic? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, the yeah. second thing pertains to you and the first thing pertains more to the team and to you. So then let's start with the second one on be more strategic in your thinking and what to do. So, mm -hmm. so what is getting in the way now about strategic thinking? I think it's, it's time. Um, because I'm, I'm uh, a lot of my time right now is focused on doing the operations and firefighting, and like I said, because my my team is not doing so well, so it's I think that's 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 taking away the time for me to think, and so not having um, enough time in the day to do that. Maybe I do that a little bit, but not enough time to just take a step back and look at where we are and where we need to go. Hmm. So let's try to look at an ideal scenario, right? So an ideal day, an ideal life, right? How much time would you need or want to spend on strategic thinking? Hmm. Good question. I think um, maybe at least just, even at least, right? An hour just to pause and get my thoughts together and to see um, where we are and where we need to go. I, I could start with an hour and maybe increase it if I have to. An hour per per day, per week, per month? Oh, um, maybe per day. I think it's good to have that reflection time to just um, stop and think. Because hmm. there's a lot of doing throughout the whole day. So I think there has to be some, some kind of a pause somewhere. There is a, a famous saying from Dr. Stephen Covey, who I met a few times because I know some of his children who are my age. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And he always talked about start with the end in mind, okay? So when I say that and we talk about the yeah, strategy and thinking, how does that sit with you or what do you think about that? Yeah, and I think that's what's happening, you know, like, um, I mean, I think about the goal, but I think I'm not really planning for that goal. 
So it's like, uh, okay, that's a goal. And I'm just going to do, um, just do this and this and that every day without really thinking about, are my actions really aligned to the goal? Or if am I doing the most effective thing as a leader to be able to achieve that? Mm-hmm. And I think it's really clarifying. And thanks for um, bringing that up, Will, uh, that, that um, the, the saying of, of uh, Stephen, mm-hmm. because it makes me really think about, um, yeah, what is the goal that I want to achieve? And um, what do I, what are the steps that I need to take to get there? So if you take these elements that you just said, articulate the goal and articulating the steps towards that, yeah, how much will that contribute to your, yeah, thinking strategically? Oh, a lot, a lot. I think those are really good, um, sort of like, uh, guidelines I, I can't think of a better word but something like it's going to guide me in um what i do need to think about every every day mm-hmm. to just get me thinking about um yeah where i am and where i need to go so i think that's a great reminder because i mean i could be just be spending that hour and then not being thinking about like what is it i really want to achieve or what's in, being intentional about it so i think that's that's going to help yeah yeah and the fact that you connect those two things, the goal, which is part of thinking strategically, but also the path to get there, which is the only way to make strategic thinking a reality rather than a dream. Um, I, I like the fact that you connect this so well. And that's exactly also what Stephen Covey talks about when he talks about uh, begin with the end in mind. Once you Once you do that, so let's say you spend an hour a day on uh, planning your goals and planning your work, your way to get there. How will that make you feel if you could do that every day or most days? Well, I think um, so much clarity also um, because um, not being able to do that probably make me do a lot of unnecessary things. And so I think the planning is the missing part. I'm, I'm seeing that now. I think it's the planning for for my day and so now as I think about it maybe I should do a check-in in the beginning the planning for what I want my day to look like and maybe at the end of the day like a quick one mm-hmm. also so that I'm able to capture not just the the beginning of how I want the day to look like but also the end just reviewing like what have I done um, what can I do differently tomorrow as well how can I be better I think that that might help I think that's the missing structure. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about structure in a second. Let's go a little bit back to the, to the feeling piece. Uh, I had to smile when I asked you, how would that make you feel? And then your answer was, it gives me more clarity. So what other emotions are part of that? Oh, emotions. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Clarity is not really an emotion. Um, I think, um, Maybe right now the word I can think of is is uh, more peace, mm-hmm. peaceful. Is that an emotion? Yeah, peaceful, feeling peaceful, feeling more calm. Mm-hmm. I think about things, um, not panicking. Um, maybe that's I'm realizing also. I think I'm also maybe handholding my people too much also, so that's not helping them be empowered. And I think that could be a cause for for things as well as like the leveling up I mentioned earlier. So, um, so it just gets me grounded, helps me stay calm hmm. and composed. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I connect a number of pieces together of what you have been saying is, is you talk about being achievement orientated, right? You talk about uh, clarity and, and your goals. Um, and as a result of that, you feel more kind of peaceful and calm. And so you, you're very task orientated, right? And this whole, uh, emotional peace kind of gets a little bit snowed under and Mm -hmm. and that obviously rubs off on you as well as on the people you work with now good point when when we go to to kind of leveling leveling up the team the people in your team are they also as task orientated as you are or they're more on the emotional side versus you yeah that's a very good question and the initial answer would be to say it's a mix, but um, I think since I'm working with people, not with robots, mm-hmm. I think emotions are important for anyone. 
And I feel like maybe that's the, that's what I need to find out more also and to be able to connect with them more okay. on that, the emotion side. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to challenge you on exactly that. Now let's look at what that means. How can you, how can you bring in some of these emotions with you and with the team? You mean the emotions of feeling calm? That, that emotion? What are the emotions you want them to feel? Oh, what are the emotions I want them to feel? Okay. Um, I think same as me. I want them to feel calm. I want them to feel um, maybe joy also in what they do. Um, I also want them to feel like, uh, yeah, they're excited. Maybe it goes to joy, excitement. So I think I want them to love what they do and not make it feel like work. And maybe that's what I've been feeling for a while now. I've been feeling like work is just work. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't feel, um, I'm also maybe looking for that as well, that the joy. Yeah. So when I'm now looking at how you're talking now versus a few minutes ago, I already kind of see a shift in your uh, applied emotions right there and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for also bringing the emotion part out. I didn't realize that I was kind of like putting it aside or putting it under the rug. So just bringing it out there. Um, just helps me just um, put a name on it, on the feeling mm. and what to do with it as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Because earlier in, your in our conversation, you were talking about uh, leveling up the team and part of that was uh, people doing things and, you know, yeah, mistakes are being made, but we shouldn't make mistakes and we, we, we should, uh, you should, you want to kind of trust them that they do the right things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And by bringing in some of these emotions and giving them calm and peace and joy and celebrate some of the achievements. How are these pieces connected, you think? Yeah, now I'm seeing also how it's all coming together. And um, I think, I think um, actually I'm, I'm kind of moving already to the action steps that I need to do. Hmm. And uh, I'm thinking of um, maybe like what I, what first I need to do is to, to really um, plan my day better, yeah. to, to just be more intentional, to, to focus on, um, begin with the end in mind and making sure that um, my day is planned out that way. And also the end of the day as well. I think it's not just with me, but um, how I am also with my team, like being aware of where they are. Um, and, and, and if I don't know where they are, where they're coming from, even their emotions as well, then I don't know how to help them. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, if I'm able to do that, if I'm able to shift that as a, as a leader, then um, I will be able to um, create more alignment, I think, more engagement with them. And we're going to just, um, yeah, we're going to level up also as a team, slowly level up as a team as well. So you're already moving to action planning, which I think is, is, is great as well as the right timing. So, so plan your day then what other actions based on, because we, we create a lot of raw materials here for action. Now mm -hmm. it's about connecting the pieces and putting them into some actionable, uh, yeah, some actionable plan slash language uh, of the things that you are excited about. So plan your day is one. What would be some other actions that you could consider? Um, yeah, plan my day. And I think, um, well, I like the emotions part. So maybe I've been kind of just setting that aside for, for a while and so recognizing also where I am like what emotions um, where I am at that point and what, how I feel about it and what maybe as, as part of a goal what emotion do I want to have like do I want to feel excitement or joy so I want to use that emotions piece as well um, to be able to know uh, what I want out of this mm -hmm. yeah so recognize your own emotions that's what I hear yeah mm -hmm. that's important yeah and then you talked about deciding the emotions you want to use or wear, so to say. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. How, how would that look like? Yeah, I think um, first acknowledging where I am. So sometimes, you know, I, as a leader, you just want to appear strong, courageous, you know, tough. Um, but I think there are day, days when it's not okay, you know, you're, it's, it's, you're overwhelmed and all that. So just, I think, naming those emotions are important. Um, but using his emotions as a goal also, like um, if I feel overwhelmed or tired, um, what I really want to feel is joy, composed, peace. So if I want to do that, 
what do I need to do? So that can be part of my action planning because I want to feel those, have those feelings. I want to be connected with work or engage at work and do well. Um, what are the steps I need to do to get there? So that, that, that has, um, that, that is really going to help me create a guide of what, what steps to take. Do you want to consider any actions around leveling up your team? Oh yeah. Um, well, with my team also, I, I want to be able to, yeah, well, with the emotions part is to maybe meet them where they are, know where they're operating from, and maybe have more conversations with them, um, try to see uh, if I really want to level up with them, where are they? Because I think I've, I realized that I've been doing a lot of dictating or assuming where they are. So I think at this point, it's important to just understand where are they coming from and how I can help them. So I think one of my next steps after this call is to just schedule conversations with them and, and see uh, where they are and how I can help them as a leader. So what, what do you want to consider to put in place to check with yourself whether you did this? Oh, um, hmm, good question. I think, I think maybe um, I'll put a timer also and, and I'm going to think about... Um, like a reminder, a reminder for the morning and then a reminder in the afternoon also to just take a look at myself. And then also maybe the team, I should track them. I should track them by putting like a, a table, maybe creating a table for each member of the team and seeing that, like just being intentional about my observations. Because if I just look at them and talk to them and, you know, um, plan things out without writing it down, then it can just disappear. So I think um, being more intentional about it, um, creating more action steps around that and measures to make sure that it happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what could get in the way of not being able to do these things? The things I need to do. I mean, the things that I need to do that maybe not, not so important. Um, like, uh, you know, there's like all these tasks, the task list. I mean, like, you know, um, because I want to just get things done. So I'm just going to end up focusing on that and thinking about, oh, that's not important. You know, everything we talked about today, I could just like, you know, deprioritize that and keep on deprioritizing it. And it's probably not going to happen at all. Mm -hmm. So I think the, um, the structures that we work around this will really help me just refocus and bring me back to remembering that what, what needs to be done. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Cool. Is there anything else that you would like to discuss today around these two issues that you wanted to no, no, we, uh, we actually covered so much today. Um, I didn't realize a lot of the areas and, and you have me really give, give me clarity. And we really addressed um, the goal at the beginning of the session where I wanted clear next steps and what I needed to do. And it's nice bonus that we kind of talked about the team as well. Mm -hmm. So we also thought about um, what, what, what I can do for the team to make mm -hmm. this happen. Yeah. So what did you learn about yourself today? Oh, well... I learned, well, number one is I learned that I didn't realize that I was just on task mode all the time mm. and that I needed to just um, focus more on myself as a person, a human being, and also the people around me as well. And I think um, that's when I start doing that, then I start knowing where I can help myself and where I can help my team. So that's, that's very important. And then I realized the importance of, um, you know, the, the difference between wanting to do something and the structure uh, um, if you want something, but you don't, you try it a few times and it doesn't happen, then sometimes you can just give up on it. So I realized also the importance of putting reminders, structure, um, monitoring, self-monitoring, monitoring the team as well to just make the goals happen. And I think um, the last thing also is just um, clarity, always clarity on the goal, always asking myself the question, where am I now? Where am I going? Um, because maybe in my mind, you know, like, oh, I know where I am and where I'm going. But then sometimes when you ask yourself that question more and more, then you get to really challenge yourself. I think the, the key here is to be honest with myself and say, I'm not going where I want to go. I mean, I want that goal, but then I'm doing other things. So it's also, I think, uh, what needs, what, what, what I need here is um, honesty, um, vulnerability also. And being able to see, um, uh, yeah, what's going to stop me and, and getting there. So I, I think a lot of um, that self-awareness today was, was very helpful. All right. Good, good. Is this a good time to stop? Is this a good time because you want to go somewhere else? Or <laughs> For good. Or you want to talk? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Anda, thank you so much. This was really very insightful. <laughs> All right. Thank you.